Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Phil Games, and welcome back to Glitch Month, where I make a Glitch Tale related video every week this month, leading up to Glitch Tale's 5th anniversary on February 28th, which is very cool. Can't believe it's been that long. I mean, I haven't been here the whole time, but it's still pretty crazy. For this week's video, we are making a tier list of the Glitch Tale episodes uh, by the soundtrack only, specifically. Um, there will be an overall episode tier list that will be the last video I do uh, this month. I mean, besides the one, the, uh, the AMV that's going in on my second channel that I mentioned in last week's video. Um, anyway, so you can see here we have, uh, we have our tier list. Uh, I don't know why I, need to, why I need to say that. Why was that necessary? You can see that. Uh, but as you can see, there um, there is no F tier. I I don't even know if I'll be able to justify putting any of these below a B tier. So we'll see how this goes. I don't really know exactly what this is going to end up looking like, uh, and I might have to change things around in the middle once I've decided more of how I'm doing it. But we shall see. Let us begin. We're going in order, so of course we have to start where everything began with Megalomaniac. Hmm, this one, season one is going to be a bit weird, well the first three episodes specifically, because all of the, all of the soundtracks were taken from outside sources. I, I think, even in Determination? We'll, we'll talk about that, uh, we'll talk about that when we get there, so... I might hover this over a certain area, but that doesn't mean it's where I'm going to put it. I don't know yet. So, Megalomaniac, you have the main song that has become iconic basically just because of this animation, uh, which might be kind of unfortunate for the person who created it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what they thought about that whole thing. And then you have the remix of Dummy at the end, which uh, the use of the use of both of them is very good and. Actually, it's, um, both of them are a reason why when I go to rewatch Glitch Tale, which I've done many, many times, I don't watch the reanimated version of Megalomaniac, which it is great and all, but, uh, I just, um, I like the original version of the Megalovania with lyrics song better. Uh, and I like the way it ends with Mad Dummy instead of, or with, yeah, with the Dummy remix <laughs> instead of just some random Underverse soundtrack. I think that's what it is in, um, in the reanimated version, so, um, where, where would I put that? Let's stick it in A tier for now, because, again, the soundtracks are very good. We'll see if that ends up moving. Uh, as we begin to add more things. Next up is Yet Darker, and this is definitely a fan-made thumbnail. I I saw that it said reanimated, so I went to, um, or it looks like it said reanimated, so I looked on YouTube to see what it is, and sure enough, this is a fan-made thumbnail, so good job, whoever made this tier list. You, you failed in one of the easiest ways to not fail. Words, English. <laughs> so Yet Darker is, again, a bunch of remixes. Hmm, it, they're good. They are very good. And they go well with with the episode and everything. But they're not quite as good as, as Megalomaniac, I think. I think I'll put it in B tier. Yeah, the soundtracks are good. They definitely work, but um, yeah, they, they just don't leave quite as much of an impact as, uh, as the ones in Megalomaniac do. Then we have Determination. I think this one, is this one like, it's just a bunch of Undertale soundtracks and Nyx the Shield's remix of Megalo Strikes Back. Isn't that it? Or is, is there another remix that I'm not thinking of? No, I think that's actually all. That being said, I really like that remix and the way it's used. When I put it above yet darker, yeah, probably. Probably would put it in A tier. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's put it there for now. Again, all this is subject to change depending on where I end up putting other stuff. But yes, the remix is very good, especially for uh, 
for Nix's first soundtrack that was used in an Undertale animation. Although, I, I don't, I don't think he made it for this. I think he was making music and then Cammy found it and then he just ended up doing most of the other soundtracks and stuff, but um, yeah, it's, it's good. I also really like how it does this. <laughs> Now we have your best friend, and this is where things start to get real. Uh, it's where the soundtracks first... They were first made specifically for the animation. Um... Let's see, where would I put that? And it has the, uh... The finale, the remix of finale. Oh, and the... She does still use a few remixes uh, that weren't intended for the animation, though, like the one at the very end, the remix of his theme. That is so good, the use of that. Uh, yeah, that's A tier as well. I'd <laughs> This might be a really boring tier list now that I think of it. To, to make it a little more interesting, let's, let's put this here and that there. That, that seems to work. Yeah, uh... This is kind of hard to do because some of the some of the soundtracks I think are just kind of boring generic but then other individual soundtracks bump the entire episode up a little bit so that makes it a little difficult and it's why I'm going to have to probably keep shifting things around as we go hopefully the end result will be at least somewhat interesting and the season 1 finale continue the hopes and dreams save the world remix is good that's like the main that's like the main thing here it's good, it doesn't go along with certain parts of that battle in as good of a way as I think it could. It does it well in a lot of, a lot of places, in a lot of places throughout that battle, but just in, especially some parts that I think could have been a little quieter almost. Ah, uh, do I put it, do I put it in B? I mean, it has a lot of good stuff, like the ending, um, the remix that plays at the end is good too. Hmm, <laughs> what to do? Let's put it in B for now. That might is that a little controversial? Putting your best friend's soundtrack over continues? Maybe. I might change my mind halfway through this, so we'll see. And on to season two with My Sunshine. Uh, I feel like the the soundtracks for My Sunshine and Dust are very unique. Like they're kind of. A little more in your face, almost. Um, not that that's a bad thing. Oop, didn't mean to drop it. Um, I do really like Asgore the Fallen King, Nyx's remix at the end. I don't know what it is about that soundtrack playing over the part when uh, when Frisk remembers seeing Jessica's daughter Alina uh, back in the season one finale, but that part just gives me chills every time. I don't know why it's specifically that part, I just think that's really cool. Because of that, I can't really justify putting it any lower than A tier. Uh, so far we don't have any S tier, but y you know those are coming. There's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be quite a few in S tier down the line for sure. Then we have Dust. Overall, I don't think Dust's soundtracks are as memorable as My Sunshine's. I mean, you do have the creepy version of a welcoming smile, even though it doesn't really have that motif in there <laughs> from the version of it that was in My Sunshine, but I guess that's more memorable, and Melancholic, of course. I think it's, is it Melancholy or Melancholic? I don't, I don't remember. It is, um, that's pretty good, but I still think this will go in B tier. Yeah, not quite as good, not quite as memorable anyway as My Sunshine. Does Continue belong here? Or should that go in A tier? I really feel I feel like it should go in A tier. Yeah, that that feels more right. I might order these in a complete order at the end. If I don't if I don't think it's interesting enough, I will I will do that, maybe. We'll see. Do or die, okay, this is where things start to get real. You've got uh Vanta Black, Gaster's theme, um, Bring It On, Frisk's theme. Shame that wasn't really used as a motif anymore. Does it go in S tier? Hmm. 
or do we move everything else down a tier to make room for it, or do we just call it high A tier? What other soundtracks are in it? Uh, oh, Medley for a Broken Sky, duh. Yeah, that's... I almost feel like we should move everything else down. For now, let's just call it high A tier. We'll see where that goes. If there's too many in A tier, I might end up separating that. Now, Love Part 1 has The Undying, and not a whole lot else. Oh, I forgot to, that just reminded me, I forgot to mention um, Embodiment of a Yellow Devil in, <laughs> in Do or Die. That's a pretty good one. Uh, you know, I really am starting to think I should separate this here. Uh, mm, you know, I'll keep, I'll keep Yet Darker in the same, the same tier as these two, and then I'll, I'll move these down to here. Ah, this doesn't... Mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe that will be A tier. Still. Just because The Undying is such a good soundtrack. Uh, yeah, I'll, mm, I'll put it there for now. I really don't think there are that many other super memorable soundtracks in Love Part 1 from what I remember. Oh, and now I'm just remembering for some reason. I forgot to mention in My Sunshine that it had Betty's theme and Jessica's theme in it, um, which is cool, but I think that those were kind of underutilized throughout the rest of the series. I, I just think light motifs are cool. Light motifs? I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I think they're cool, and I honestly think Glitch Hill could have used a little, a little more of them, especially during the, uh, the more neutral scenes where the soundtracks are just a bit boring-ish. Uh, uh, anyway, that's that's besides the point. We're on love part one, I think, unless we're done with it. Yeah, yeah, let's let's just keep it there for now. I can't think of any other soundtracks in it that I'm missing. Love part two. If you've heard me talk about Glitch Tale, uh, maybe, maybe I haven't said it enough, but I think some of you might know, having two Rush Garcia soundtracks in it automatically puts it in S tier. I mean, Blood and Bone and Glimpse of Light are so good. I... I can't put this anywhere but S tier. It's, mm, I yeah, yeah, I love that kind of soundtrack. It's, it's they're just so good, so big and yeah, they. Uh, mm, I I don't know what other adjectives to use to describe the way Rush Garcia makes soundtracks besides amazing, awesome, very cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's why that's in S tier. Oh, and besides that, I mean. The soundtracks that come right before it, uh, the, I think it's just called Best Noir, uh, the Betty's theme thing, and True Love, that remix, that new remix of, um, Megalo Strikes Back, <laughs> there we go, those are both great too, just having those four super good soundtracks all right in a row, it's, uh, it cannot go anywhere except S tier. Now my promise, huh, does that go in S tier? It has, um, why, why am I blanking on soundtrack names right now while I'm making the video about soundtracks? Come on. Fearless Terror. There we go. Jeez. Oh, that's one of my favorites. How can I forget it? And My Last Charade. Those are both super good. Is it just on par with these, though? Yeah, maybe high, high A tier. Mm, yeah, that's, those are really the only standout ones again, unless I'm forgetting something, which seems to have been something that's happened a lot throughout this video, so it's definitely possible. Mm, yeah, I think that feels right to me. Game Over Part 1. Well, that has eschatology, which first of all is a great word, and second of all is an amazing soundtrack. Uh, but that's kind of like, that's kind of disconnected from the events, from the actual main events of the episode. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a good soundtrack. Does that one soundtrack elevate it to A tier? I mean, I guess it did for Love Part 1. So... Trying to think if there's any other ones, really. I guess I do like the soundtrack at the end. The, fin the final soundtrack of this episode. It's it's cool. Yeah, I'll I'll put it... I'll say that goes in A tier. 
I like that having a having the same number of A's and B's. That's that's pretty nice. Game over part two. I mean, come on, that's that's obviously S tier. It yeah, it has to be because again, a bigger fear. Rush Garcia soundtrack, <laughs> but not just that. There's um there's Neo Fear, the remix of Bone Trousel that I can't remember what the name is. I guess Metal Metal Crusher is pretty good. I I never really vibed to that one quite as much as other people did. And then even Life in Blue at the very end. First of all, great name, Life in Grey, and then becomes Life in Blue when she... Yeah, yeah. It, it's good. Yep, that's definitely S tier. Hate. Alright, do you go in A or S? This one really has two soundtracks that stand out to me. Wait, hang on, how does it start? What happens at the beginning? Gosh dang it, I just watched through, I just watched these again. To prepare for this. How does the, how does this episode freaking start? <laughs> Why can't I remember? Oh, right, duh, it starts with Papyrus. <laughs> it says, okay, I was just trying to think how it starts and if, what all the plot lines were, if they reminded me of any soundtracks that I wasn't remembering. But no, I, I think that's, uh, I, I haven't even said the ones that I was already thinking of yet. What am I talking about? Okay, so the ones that really stand out to me in this episode are Switch and Dreamers United. Dreamers United, though, might be enough to elevate it to S tier by itself. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, I'll say no, because for most of it, it, it kind of has just more normal, slower stuff. I mean, there are a few other a little faster ones, like uh, when Rave is trying to, or is figuring out what to do about the giant blob Kumuzilla thing. God, but Dreamers United is so good, though! You, you know what? Screw it. I'm putting it... I'm putting it in, in S tier. Part, okay, you, you know why? Partly because that way all of, the, all of these tiers have the same number. Because, come on, Animosity is obviously S tier. There... It has I've come this far and ascended. In it <laughs> so I mean it can't it can't be anything else and embodiment of a true hero and probably something else that I feel like I'm oh yeah the uh, I don't know what it's called but the soundtrack right after embodiment of a true hero when Undyne is like falling and Ronan catches her and stuff I lo I really like that one for some reason or at least just the way it fits in with what's happening a lot of the non battle scene soundtracks don't work that well for me shut up phone but that one just does I just like it but yeah I mean there's there's almost no question that this this is the best the glitch tale soundtrack has ever been in this episode unless the like second half of love part 2 was its own episode <laughs> um, then maybe that would be uh, maybe I, st I still do really like love part 2 but I do like how the really good ones in Animosity are a little more, a little more spaced out. <sighs> yeah, you know I might still like this better. I don't know, because uh, the the second like fade in back into I've come this far after it comes out is a little, is a little weird. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I I think this is fine. I don't need to put them in a specific order or anything. I like this. It's it's pretty even. Is that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> Again, all of this is relative, so when it's C tier, they're still good. Um, and none of them ended up in D tier, which is cool. Well, there it is. That That is the tier list. That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you will stick around for the next videos of this glitch month, uh, which will be two more tier lists, like I said, in... Um, in the last video, and I already mentioned what the last one, what the final one will be, um, the full episode tier list, it only makes sense to end on that, I think, so, I guess I'll just say what the next one is. The next one is just gonna be a character tier list, so look forward to that next week sometime, whenever I get around to it, and then, again, go check out my second channel, Phil Actually Games, great name, I know, uh, I don't have to say that every time I bring my second channel up. Uh, every time I bring the name of it up. Anyway, um, yeah, there should be a link in the description, or if that doesn't work, because for some, I've heard some people say that it doesn't work for them, and I don't know why that would be. 
but uh, there will be a uh, link in the end card as well, so hopefully that works. Uh, and there will be a video that goes live over on that channel. Uh, the, it's the AMV that I've mentioned that will go up at midnight on the 28th, so right on Glitch Tales 5th Anniversary. Uh, that is, um, E... ES... Am I E... No. No, I'm CST. Central Standard Time. Yes. That's what's going to happen for the rest of this month, and then after... Ah, I don't, I don't know. I'll talk about it. I've, I've made my outro long enough. I always make these way too long. Um, anyway, I have a Discord server. Link in description. I have a Twitter, at GamesPhil. Come check me out in those places. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video of Glitch Month, or in the 5,000 subscriber video, depending on which one comes next. We shall see. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I will see you guys there, or in whichever video of mine you choose to watch next. Bye! Shame that wasn't really used as a motif anymore. It's super catchy. <laughs> I don't know why I had to sing that.